Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Guys, every video I'm trying to make my background a little bit more developed than last time. Today, our new addition is I brought one of the salt lamps back. And instead of the moon, we now have the sun. Actually, we got both. This is incredible. Okay, sorry, let me not get ahead of myself. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm in a good mood. That's why I'm filming. I'm really excited about what we're gonna look at today. I don't know how I have not heard of this person before today, but I was reading the comments and someone recommended we check out Ginger Pale! Which is actually the wrong accent to use because Ginger Pale is a self-taught bad animator from Alberta, Canada! <laughs> If I knew there was a Canadian animator, like the ones we've been checking out, I would have gone straight for him. I've got to support Team Canada. Now, not only does he get my vote already because he's Canadian, but his art style looks really cool. It looks really colorful and like kind of fruity. Like all of the colors are just so like, it looks like I'm staring at a Welch's fruit snack. It's amazing though. I'm really excited. This is going to please my brain. And hopefully I can contribute in my own way with these colors. But we had to start with this video. I feel like it was made for me, homies. I need to check it out. Canadian Stereotypes. We'll get to his number one most viewed video after this, but I have to see this. I have to see this. And people, you already know what it is. Make sure you are supporting the original creator. Their link will be in the description. And after the video, you better subscribe to them. But I'll get on you about that more later. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Ginger Pale, and I live in Canada. To start this video off, I want you to picture in your head what you think a typical Canadian looks like. Done. Wait, can I see? It's a mirror. Get it? There's nothing because Canada isn't real. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I honestly can't think of a joke I would hate more than someone saying that. I probably don't look like the average Canadian, so I'm probably a bad example. But for real, is it something like this? Or maybe this? How about this? Yeah, Maybe. that's a polar bear. They can have nationalities too. Well, Canada's a huge place and all of these examples may be true, but it doesn't mean the whole country is lumberjacks and mounties riding moose and polar bears. Off topic, don't you think that multiple moose should be referred meese. to as meese? Yeah. Because multiple goose is geese yeah. and you know, they're pretty close. Is that not a topic everyone's explored at some point in their life? Why aren't multiple mooses called meese? I feel like everyone has explored that inconsistency with the English language. I feel like everyone's covered that in their life. Anyways, like whatever country you live in, we also have a variety of people. I mean, look at us. We're the second largest country in the world. Wow. So I don't get yeah. where you guys are coming up with these stereotypes, but I'm going to be talking about some of them. Number one, it's super cold. A lot of people Somewhere. seem to think we live in some sort of year-round frozen wasteland where all our houses are built from ice blocks. But I'll have you know, my house is built out of sticks and scotch tape. And as for the weather, Come yeah, on. in the winter it does get to like minus 40 degrees Celsius. Fun fact, minus 40 degrees Celsius equals minus 40 Fahrenheit. Ooh, I think that's fun. It is cold in certain places in the winter, obviously. But yeah, no, cold year-round, that's like way up north where like not many of the people are. In the summer, which we do have, it goes up to like like 32 degrees Celsius. That's 90 Fahrenheit. So boom, take off your scarves and break out the ice cream because summer gets decently warm. But I mean, it's basically t-shirt weather when it doesn't sting to breathe in the cold air. <laughs> Let's also take a look at our beloved restaurant slash cafe. Tim, Tim Hortons. Hortons, yes! On this menu, they have iced cappuccinos and frozen lemonade. Tell me, why would they have frozen drinks if it were always cold here? True. What if they were regular drinks, but then they froze? I guess you have a point. <laughs> That is such a weird way of pointing out that it's not always cold in Canada. Why, Why would they, would they sell, sell frozen drinks, drinks if it's always cold? I mean, people still drink coffee in the summer, you know? Do you guys stop eating ice cream in the winter? I ain't giving up ice cream for no cold weather. I'm eating that year round, baby. I probably eat more ice cream in the winter. No cap. But no, Canada's the next hot destination for Funland. Bring you and the family, bring the kids. Disneyland. Number two, okay. all your money looks like Monopoly money. <laughs> hey, if, if I come, is it okay to bring any type of Monopoly money? <laughs> like if I have the Star Wars version of Monopoly, will it still count or do I if need to If you're playing Monopoly, yeah, it'll work. Game? 
Okay, yes, we have colorful money, but we're not the only country that does that. Why did us friendly Canadians get stuck with this stereotype? Is it because we're an easy target? Because we try to be nice? No, it's because our country decided to upgrade the money so it's not stuck in the year 1910. American money should be like this too. The amount of like safety measures to prevent counterfeiting in Canadian money is crazy. It's like a century beyond American dollars. All right, let's look at what a current Canadian $20 bill looks like. Actually, do I have any? Oh, I wish I could show you. Oh, I don't know if I have any Canadian money. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. I do, I do, yes. I'm so excited about this video. Here is a Canadian $20 bill. I guess I'll hold it a bit closer to the camera, but the light isn't really there. Look at how much is going. You can see through part of it. You can see through part of it because part of it's plastic. It's got this reflection-y thing. It's also got like a maple leaf with a <gasps> window in it. It's holographic. There's indents built into the monies that you can feel for texture. This is what modern money should look like. Any American who sees this is like, <laughs> monopoly money. This is way better money than American money. This design is a century ahead of the United States. And look at the 10. This is the most you will ever see me flex cash on camera, guys. $10 bill. Look, it's purple. It's purple. Oh, okay. No, no, no. How much easier is it to find this in your pocket and count when it's different colors? Anyways, that's enough of that for now. Let's continue. Is it because we're an easy target? Because we try to be nice? That's rude. But it wasn't always this way. Canada's money used to be just as boring as the US. Actually, you know what? I bet you a hundred bucks that Canada got colorful money before Monopoly was even invented. Ooh. But he's also Googling Canadian dollars. When was Monopoly born? <laughs> When did Canada get colorful money? Same year or something? Okay. Huh. Well, guess I owe you. Here you go. Uh, but did Monopoly have like colored money back then? Cause like printers were expensive, bro. I guess you aren't printing on the color, whatever. Number three, you love maple syrup. I'm not gonna lie. I, mean, I don't really care for pancakes, waffles, or French toast. Pretty much anything that you actually should put maple syrup on. That's Instead, surprising. I usually just drink it by itself. No. I got maple cap. running through my veins. Cap. But eventually I was like, hmm, you know, diabetes. So I slowed down on that. In grade nine, cap. during the holiday season, I had a friend who got me a little baby jug of maple syrup. I was drinking it during class and then my teacher saw Are it you and serious? she took it away she thought I was being gross. But then we had a secret Santa that day and my secret Santa knew exactly what I loved and decided oh to get me maple cookies and a large jug of the same maple syrup. All the signs pointed to it. Yep, drink it. So I did. Dude, are you serious? You are literally enforcing a Canadian stereotype that isn't real. Canadians don't drink maple syrup. That is super weird. Oh my gosh, bro, you are not helping our cause. Literally, we found the one guy who actually does drink maple syrup, making a video about Canadian stereotypes. Dude, oh my gosh, you are part of the reason why Dumb people ask me that question. I'm sorry though, I love you. This video has been great so far. You seem awesome. My favorite thing to do in the winter is take a bunch of maple syrup oh and boil my gosh. it. Then pour it over snow and it becomes taffy. And if you screw up, you just have a maple flavored slushy. This is also good. I just realized I'm not really helping the stereotype, but yeah! like, everyone likes maple. What America, you just gonna sit there and pretend you don't drown your breakfast in maple syrup? <laughs> we just happen to like it more. So we put it in our flag. Why don't you guys stick a cheese or something? Oh! Get him! Get him! <laughs> okay, real talk though, I do love maple syrup. I don't drink it, but I used to like use way too much on my waffles growing up. I am surprised I made it out okay. I mean, my brain's pretty messed up, but aside from that. Why don't you guys stick a cheeseburger or something in yours? Shots fired. And wow, with that savagery, how could you think all Canadians are nice? Sorry, America, I didn't mean it. I love you, baby. Aww. Now, before we get to the last one, let's do some bonus terms. I'm just gonna kind of rapid fire these. Mickey, little bottle of booze. Two six, yep. big bottle of booze. Yep. Runners, running shoes. I mean, do yes, you say slipping yeah. shoes instead of slippers? I say Pop. running shoes. <laughs> Not soda. Toque. It's like yep. a beanie or yep. something. Looney. One dollar coin that has a loon on it. Toonie. Two loonies make a toonie. Get it? <laughs> it's a two dollar coin and it has a bear on it. Poutine. Fries covered in gravy and cheese. I don't like it. And finally, A. Lots of people seem to think that we just throw the word into sentences. Not randomly. at all, no. Wait, does it even count as a word? I don't know what it is. But when I actually do hear people use it, it's usually in place for the word right. Example. Yeah. The weather sure is bad, right? The weather sure is bad, eh? 
I mean, the yeah. odd time I'll hear someone say it, but it definitely doesn't just get tossed around between every word. I actually, it makes me sad that A has been like trained out of me. I've like had a lack of exposure to A over the last four years of my life. And so I don't, I don't say, say A say nearly, as, I like I never like, say, say A say now, say which sucks. Cause I live in the States now. I don't want to lose that part of me. I do sound less Canadian now than I did a few years ago. I make sure that I still like say like Canadian pronunciations for the most part. Like instead of process, I say process. Instead of sorry, I say sorry. But the accent itself is like mostly gone, which I don't like. I want it to kind of come back. <laughs> but I don't know how. <laughs> Why don't we just take Canada and push it somewhere else? That idea may just be crazy enough to get us all killed. Okay, homies, real talk. Speaking of being in the States and not Canada, I am so hot right now. I need to take this off. And also, by the way, after this video is done, please make sure you subscribe to Ginger Pale. They did all the hard work. I'm just the silly guy saying the silly things. Also, if you're liking this video right now so far, it would be really cool if you booped the like button. That would make me happy and would support me in a small way. And if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, it would be kind of cool if you subscribed and then watched more videos and had more fun. Okay. Thank you. I mean, the odd time I'll hear someone say it, but it definitely doesn't just get tossed around between every word. Hey, want to know where the name Canada came from? Honestly, no, not really. Not Feel from like you. Won't be legitimate at all. Some explorers were trying to name the new country they had settled in, but they were having no luck. So they put all the letters in a hat and started pulling randomly. Hey, what's the first letter? C A. Next. Uh, N A. One uh, more. D A. I think we got it. And that's how Canada got its name. Nice. Why are you like this? Nice. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I sure didn't. All these generalizations hurt my feelings. Canada's healthcare can't fix that. Did you pill? <laughs> if I like a video, will that help? No, probably not. What? I'll like the video and I'll give you the sub. Okay, that was a very interesting video. Like he said, he didn't really help the stereotypes, but Canada related content, like guys, I am so down for Canada related content. Whenever you have a Canada related thing that you want me to look at, I would love to. I would love to do that. I was, for the longest time, I was trying to convince Cassie to do a Canada related video, like a Canadian memes video with me. Oh, and she just wasn't into the idea. I couldn't convince her, but I wanted to do, the, to do that so badly. Okay, I'm talking an insane amount, but it's just because I'm having such a good time, so hopefully you're cool with that. Now, let's check out his most viewed video ever! Pop culture, eh? Eh? Sorry. I don't mean to mock him. Oh, is this gonna be about actual pop? I never say pop anymore. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I gotta protect my Canadianism. I, but I say soda. I say soda now. But yeah, as a child, I always said pop. What the heck? Three. Two, Ichi, go. Lemons. Fresh squeezed lemonade for sale, only 25 Yay. cents. Yay. Lemons. Lemonade, come get your lemonade. Just a pence of pennies for this perfect concoction could be yours. Lemons. <laughs> Lemon. Oh no. Ew, you got lemons on my car. <sighs> I'm gonna take their money. Ginger pill, you just mug children. <laughs> I took their money. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Sweet. Gino. Welcome to G Poppy's Poppy Shoppy. We're gonna be talking about pop, soda pop, whatever you want to call it. How can I help you? You do have money, right? Ooh, that's too bad, cause it's fifty cents a pop, Chief. Get out of my sight. <laughs> eh, calm down. It was only a soft drink, after all. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I think I may have seen this like four years ago. What? I think for some reason, this was a video I clicked on like four years ago, but I don't remember it at all. And now I have a completely different perspective. I'm liking the memes. I'm liking the memes. Is this video more recent than the last? Because it kind of seems uh, the script is, is heat. This is some this is good. But why is it called a soft drink? I mean, an aluminum cans carrying a bunch of liquid don't exactly scream soft to me. Well, it's because any drink containing less than 0.5% alcohol is referred to as a soft drink. Uh, Anymore, yeah. and you got a wobbly pop on your hands. You know, like beer and wine and grandpa's old cough medicine. We're getting really off track. Let's talk about pop now. Did you know that I was originally green? Ew. 
Fake news. A lot of people seem to think that Coca-Cola used to be green, but I'm pretty what? sure that rumor just came from the green bottles that Coke was originally Never packaged heard of that. in. The original recipe always called for caramel coloring, and this is because back in 1886, when Coke was invented, they added brown color to help hide impurities between the small uh, batches. Oh, wow. Well, it's been about a week. I don't think I need this Band-Aid anymore. Uh, can, can I get some help over here? Guy fall in? Yeah, a guy fell in. Man, second time this week. Just toss some of this caramelized sugar in there. No one will And know. then no one will no understand. Wow, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever heard that unless I saw this video four years ago and I just forget. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Isn't it weird? Because it's like they definitely don't need to make it brown. It does not need to be brown anymore, right? They could make Coca-Cola clear if they wanted to, but they choose not to just because this is the way it's always been. Isn't that so bizarre? Because now certain new soft drinks will taste just like that, but they'll be clear. Like I have have an example literally right here. This is the day of bow examples. <laughs> All right, Dr. Zevia, baby. It's like the other doctor isn't in today. Oh. It tastes like the other doctor. All doctors taste the same. Okay, how do I get this on a shot and show you the clearness without just spilling this? Is it humanly possible? I don't know. It's clear, it's clear liquid. But you know what? I don't really like that it's clear. I kind of wished it was brown because since it's clear, it just looks like, oh, it's just chemicals. All of this is just chemicals making this taste. But when it's brown, I can like in my brain convince myself that it's like, that's its natural color. <laughs> like it's nonsense, but I kind of like being lied to in that regard. Even though this is healthier than the brown one. I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls today, t t tonight. <laughs> yeah, it sounds kind of gross, but you gotta remember this is back in a time where the FDA didn't exist and yeah. everyone was pro- At the same time, pops actually existed as medicinal beverages. Mmm, that's the taste of health. Let's go shopping <laughs> at the old 1850 yeah. pop shop, which was just Crazy. a pharmacy. Ooh, Pepsi, 1893. This was originally called Brad's Drink, and it was marketed as a digestive aid. I mean, I've watched videos of that's cola crazy. ripping rust off metal, so I'm pretty sure it could help break down food in your stomach. But who's this Brad guy? If I tried to sell you something called Ginger Pills Drink, would you be a little skeptical? But probably. Yeah. If it can break down rust, it can break down food. Drink Pepsi. Ooh, that's up, crazy. This contained lithium citrate, which was a mood enhancing drug, which made this drink pretty popular during its release right around the Great Depression and the stock market crash of 1929. Oh my gosh. It was also marketed as slenderizing, and, and that's a little weird Cap. because lithium and Cap. soda pop are both known for weight gain. Cap. So I, I, I don't know about that. Gaining too much weight drinking? Are you sad? Huh, us too. Drink 7 Up. Uh <laughs> This is amazing. I'm learning so much. Maybe the last video was equally educational. I just have no idea because I am Canadian and there was a lot of cap in that video, but this video is awesome. I'm like learning so much. Yeah, people in the 1800s, it's incredible how stupid we were. Medicine and every type of technology, the entire world, like we were nothing for so long. It's only in the last 150, no, 150 years ago, they thought Pepsi was good for you and medicine that's what they thought medicine was it's crazy how much the world has advanced and i honestly i take time all the time to be grateful for the fact that i was born in this general time anyone who's like i was born in the wrong generation it's like hey cool you know when you were born in the 0.001 percent part of human history that wasn't horrible where your life didn't end with you getting eaten by a bear on a rock being born any time in the last hundred years is an unfathomable blessing. Unfathomable. So if you ever feel bad about your place in the world, never forget that you are unbelievably lucky to be on the earth now. How is this the deepest video I've ever made? I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we can't forget about Coke, 1886. It was invented as a cure for morphine addictions. It gained its popularity because it included coca leaf extract, which did contain a small amount of- Yep. I mean, yeah, sure, just replace your old addiction with a new and potentially yep. worse one. Kick the addiction by getting a new and potentially worse one. Yay! Drink Coca-Cola. Root beer, 1876. This was one of the Ugh, many sodas that contained like a bunch it. of alcohol. Even though the guy who originally marketed root beer was a teetotaler. That's a, that's a guy who doesn't drink. He swore off drinking. What? Now, he did this so that he could call it beer, so it would appeal more to the local okay, coal miners. Okay. But I gotta think that if he swore off alcohol, does that mean he didn't try his own drink before selling it? Like beer? Wow. This says beer, drink root beer. Now with alcohol. That's amazing. I, I'm, again, I'm learning so much. I don't like root beer at all. I don't like root beer. Just, I don't like that taste. Like cola is so much better to me. So much better. That's just an opinion though. You're not wrong if you like root beer. I don't really care. You know, you do you. Mountain Dew, 1940. 
the uh, Mountain Dew just means moonshine. Uh, it was made as Whoa. a syrup to mix with moonshine. I, I, I hate Mountain Dew. <laughs> Don't drink us. Mountain Dew is trash. Ginger Pill just said Mountain Dew is gross. Gamers, rise. Get him. Get him. The store will now be closing due to the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906 and the Prohibition of 1920. <laughs> Neat. Stop. We're the pop cops. Wait, what? Jerry, I thought we were the fizz fuzz. He's getting away. What on earth? Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. Jerry, don't don't touch those. We, we got a team for that. Now that we have the FDA, there's a little bit more regulation and uh, <laughs> pops a bit better to put into your body. Is it though? But even with that said, I think I drink a little too much. These things are like 100 calories each, four times a day, times 30. That's 12,000 calories a month in pop. Disgusting. What? That's, that's so mean. What the heck? Whoops, that's the window, my bad. Yo, that moment right there. That's the moment I remember from this video. I remember replaying that like 10 times because I just lost it laughing. That's so mean. What the heck? What the heck? Dude, when did I see this? Cameron, you didn't show this to me, did you? No. When did I see this? I have no idea when I saw this, but I remember laughing so hard at that. Oh my gosh, I'm going insane. I'm literally going insane today. This was not planned. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so what I was going to say, dude, it's not a matter of the calories. These things are like 100 calories each, four times a day. Eating 400 wow. calories of chicken versus 400 wow. calories of soda, the difference that makes on your body is like not even the same conversation. It's like I can't even begin to explain to you how little the calorie count of drinking a bunch of soda matters compared to what the artificial sugar does to your body in that quantity. I do personally think if you consume junk food of any kind, you at least like should understand what it's doing to your body, you know, like how it works chemically. And like you can eat junk food. Like I don't care. Of course, like I'll have dessert. I'm a pretty clean eater, like compared to most people. So I don't think like what I do is normal. Uh, I'm just saying no problem with eating dessert. Do whatever you want. But like it is important to understand what unhealthy food can do to your body, like artificial sugar in large quantities, inflammatory seeds oils, stuff like that. I feel like everyone should be taught in school like what these things do. So yeah, I mean, maybe pop is safer to drink than it was in 1870, but it's not, it's not at all healthy to drink. What the heck? Whoops, that's the window, my bad. Disgusting. But if I switch over to diet pop, problem solved. Zero calories, baby. But diet soda contains aspartame and that gives you the- it, Just do everything in moderation and you won't die, probably. Okay. <laughs> we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> all right, I learned so much during that. That was really, really cool. I loved it a lot. My homie's Canadian, so I'm on the ginger pale team. I still don't think projecting maple syrup drinking or four soda a day drinking is a good idea, but my G, well, that makes sense now. After he talked about drinking four sodas a day, the drinking maple syrup thing makes way more sense to me. You don't drink maple syrup because you're Canadian, bro. You drink maple syrup because you drink literal syrup in soda four times a day. <laughs> Anyways, now that I'm looking at these other titles after seeing these videos, are these videos like meant to be like slightly educational? Cause that's really cool. I like that a lot. This is gonna make me wanna watch more. I think honestly, I think we have time for one more because some of these are quite short. So I, I say we go for it. I say we do one more quick one. It's between colors and making things is easy. Okay, looks like we need a random number generator. This video colors is any odd number and this video is any even number. Three, two, one. Boop. Nine. Okay, odd number. Colors! Hi, I'm Ginger P. Hey. So, something's wrong here. What's going on? Oh, there's no colors. That's better. I like color. We're gonna talk about color. What color is this apple? Red. 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 Like, you'd probably say it's red. <laughs> but maybe it's not. Let's break this down. You see, here we have a light source. I'm on now. All these different kinds of colors he has. White light has all of them. Now when he strikes yeah. an object, like this apple for example, the apple gets to choose which colors it would like to keep oh and absorb and which ones it would like to get rid of and reflect. These oh are the ones we're man. gonna see. Food for thought, food for mouth. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so you guys ask me a lot of questions about colors. Things like, how do you find your color palette? How do I color wow, backgrounds? Yeah, it's the so next good. video, it's been three months, Ginger Pale. Well, shut up and follow me, we're going color hunting.
Hey! Come down here, you're pretty. I want your color. I love this! Please? Got him. It's just that easy. Just kidding, you don't actually need to hunt colors. That's dumb. Don't be dumb. He, he's fine. You don't need to hunt colors, is correct. All you gotta do is either watch a Ginger Pale video or a Robert I Need Cake yeah! video, baby. We've got like the same colors going right now. How sick is this? Ginger Pale, I don't know if you watch reactions to your stuff, but have you ever seen a reaction video that loved colors as much as you? I don't know, I don't know. I got so much colors, I got colors on my colors. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry, I'm, I've gone completely completely insane this video. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you have access to a computer, a TV, or a phone, which means you probably have access to a $1 pack of crayons or something. If not, go to your local crayon forest and pick some out. There, that's probably enough to start playing around with some colors. Yay. Or, if you're working digitally, you already have access to pretty much every color there is. Now you have them, but you don't know how to use them. You're just a weed babby colorist, yep. and we need to take you into the real world to learn how they interact with each other. Yeah. For example, look at this plant. I'd say it's green. Or is it? Yeah, it's green. We're not doing that bit again. <laughs> its brighter areas look like they're being highlighted with a bit of a yellowy green, and the shaded parts look kind of bluer. This is important in shading. You see, there's warm colors like red, orange, and yellow, and colder colors like blue. Purple and green kind of flop around because it depends on how much red or yellow is mixed with the blue. True. So if you're looking to shade or highlight an object, try using colder or warmer colors. Don't just use a darker variation of the main color True. by adding black. It just makes the colors look muddy and gross and makes you kind of look like a big stupid bum bum. <laughs> A common occurrence in today's YouTube animation scene is a lack of backgrounds. A lot of people just floating around in white space. Yeah. Hey guys, floating in space is fine and all, but I like to use them because one, they ground me in an environment, yeah. and two, in addition to temperature, hues can also help portray moods yeah. of the video. Red could be angry or romantic, yellow could be happy or romantic, blue could be sad, oh, pretty much just sad. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. I love this. Let's do this. Let's. I love this. I love, yeah, I love these colors, bro. I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. Sorry, sorry, I hated that too. Wait, watch this. I got a cool trick. Green is happy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna look at some backgrounds and see how color, plus some music by Louis Zong, um, can help portray different tones. Here's some hills in the prairies. They look pretty normal, but normal is boring. Green hills, white clouds, blue sky. Yeah. That is boring. If you think of the times when you notice the sky looks pretty, like at a sunset, it's often pink, orange, purple, or yellow. True. Let's spice it up a bit. Oh, Using warm wow. colors, it's a desert now. Although it still looks kind of boring. Let's throw some rocks in. And I'm this a cactus dude. now. This Don't drink dude. from me. I'm full of toxic alkaloids. But I'm getting kind of sweaty and bored. Let's go home. Oh look, Canada. Cold colors making up a cold place. But I like to avoid using the colorless shades like white and gray and black. So instead I used blue and purple to make up my snow and ice. The only time I really like to use black is for lining the main subject of a scene. Like me, for example. This way I pop out more against yeah, the lineless yeah, background. Yeah. You can also use warm and cold colors together. Here we made some sort of cotton candy land. You'll notice that the bright warm colors tend to pop out against the cold ones. I recommend you just make a general background to start and just change up the colors bunch until you're happy with what you made. Well, that's all I really have to say about colors for now. So thank you for listening and I hope you learned something. Good boy. Gosh, that was awesome. I already thought like his animation style looked so cool, but seeing this video just like brought my appreciation to the next level. Some of you guys might not know this, but every single video I do, I manually do the colors myself after. This is what this footage looks like with no color added to it. This is the raw footage that I am recording. But if you notice how it's like low contrast, I do that so that I have the freedom to go in after after and change that. So maybe my video will look like this. Maybe my video will look like this. Maybe my video will look like this. I can swap it out however I want and I try to do it a little bit different every single video because that's fun for me and I've been doing that for over seven years. So yeah, just thought you might find that cool. I love color just as much as this dude. Dude, we've got a lot in common. We got a lot in common. I really enjoyed this and I would be ha very happy to do this again. So you let me know, friends. My friends, here is Ginger Pale channel. Make sure you are subscribed to it. This video was awesome. I had such a good time. Here's the last video we put up. If you missed it, make sure you check it out. Here's a video that YouTube specifically thinks you will like. Are they right? You let me know. Hey, thank you for watching my video today. I appreciate you. You're great. Have a wonderful day.